Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we are going to be putting a small hole in the top of this water bottle and bending it a certain way to create a valve that allows air pressure to create a vacuum inside, collapsing the bottle. This method can also be used to create a pump. Anytime that you're dealing with air pressure and water bottles, you always want to make sure that you wear proper eye protection. This method will work with any bottle that has a sealable lid. After drilling a small hole, simply bend the metal or plastic so that one side is dented in and one side is formed outward to create our small valve. When a velocity of air or water is directed over the raised lip, low pressure forms at the opening, expelling the contents in the vessel, resulting in a vacuum. This easily crushes a plastic water bottle and is strong enough to remove water in the process. If the current flows in the opposite direction, air is gathered at the opening and high pressure is created quickly refilling this plastic bottle. Adding green food coloring to our 2 liter container makes the liquid movement more visible on camera. This is a clear glass beer bottle with rigid cylindrical walls to withstand the pressure. I drilled a small hole in the bottom to attach a clear plastic tube. The 2 liter water storage container is 3 feet below the pump bottle with the other end of the tube loosely submerged. A screw on cap would work better but since this was the only clear bottle available I used some plumber's tape to ensure our seal. When the released air pressure is directed across the valve's higher portion the green water is easily lifted filling the upper bottle. I have a lot of 1 quarter inch holes drilled in my table saw deck for cutting circles and the clear tubing fit perfectly. This process works with the bottle in a vertical position creating an interesting magical fountain. The bubbling occurred as the water level dropped below the tube in the lower 2 liter vessel. If you're looking for an alternative method of starting a siphon this works great without the risk of inhaling dangerous vapors or the possibility of friction created from electrical motors or transfer pumps. So what else can this be used for? In upcoming videos, I'll be making a do-it-yourself HVLP sprayer for larger particles and resins that would clog a normal paint sprayer. For aquaponic and swimming pools, a submerged valve can triple the mixed volume of water without increasing the GPM delivered by the main pump, reducing run times. The valve configuration can also be used for circulating water pressure to drive high volumes of air to depths up to 15 feet deep providing high volume aeration for ponds. For dirty areas or rock beds with embedded sand and large particles that would damage the impellers of a normal pump or clog a sump pump, the valve can easily transfer volumes of sediments. Denise and I have been working hard moving our solar playground from the front yard to an area we are clearing in the back. This will give us a larger solar station for more detailed sun projects. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.